Hello, you awesome some people of YouTube, and welcome back to Let's Play Outlast. Now, oh. last episode where you were going the wrong way, because I actually watched my my playthrough. Okay, maybe we were going the right way. I don't know. Only way I got the flashlight. Battery down there. I want it. Battery got that one. Got five batteries. Give me that. We need that battery. <laughs> Hope you're having all of having a good day. And stuff. Why'd you stop playing music for? I was enjoying it. No, oh, doesn't look comfortable friendly in there. Hello. game. See, is it too dark in here to see or anything? Yeah, it is. Well, whoever was playing on the piano decided it time was up. I'm taking a picture of that piano. Ah. Ugh. Uh, exit interview recorded December 27th, 1985 in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Clearance Sierra Alpha. Subject, Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, 14866. The films are real. Uh, there was no alteration to the footage at all? No trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, a half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors? Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we felt, what we believed. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English words are insufficient. More than hope, the human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed... A proximity to death, to overwhelming madness. Only a test subject would witness the horror was capable of activating the engine. Do you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? No. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what?
wrong button. Man sounds like Dr. Strangelove's anemic brother. The 25 year old audio recording. An interview with this Dr. Wernick. Los Alamos means government work. Wernick talks about spontaneous bleeding, tumors, psychosomatic reactions, and sufficiently disturbed people. Seems to walk a line between science and Nazi mysticism. Only a test subject who has wit witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine, the morphogenic engine. The engine, the movie they're projecting. It gets in my head like a, st uh, in a song you can't stop humming. I blink and see Warshash tests that look like swarming insects, insects and f infected surgery wounds. The patients talk about using the engine to conjure the wall rider. It's the buzzing I hear in my bones. Fascinating. Well, someone had a horrible coffee break. Okay. I'm not going to argue with that one. Flesh aim bacteria. Wash those hands regularly. Winking smiley face. Somebody got upset. Okay. Can't go through there. door behind me just in case. Battery over there. Let's get it. We're gonna need them anyway. Ah. <sighs> um, Miles. Just cause spooky guy scares me half to death doesn't mean you're not gonna try to open the door. Guess there's another way in somewhere that I don't know about.
You're dead. Okay, what did it say now? Okay. Where is the third floor? Huh? 